if you've read any magazines or taken any lessons in the bunker, your instructor or the, the uh, person writing the article has talked about bounce. Bounce has to do with the flange on the bottom of the golf club. And it's a really important tool once you start being more specific with your bunker shots. There's a leading edge, the front part of the golf club, and then there's a back part of the bottom golf club. And if you're hitting shots in the bunker and hitting sand first, and you make sure that the, the leading edge hits the sand first, this club is going to continue into the sand and, and create a dig or a, a deeper divot than necessary and, and get too much sand in between the club and the ball. You're going to want to open the face and create a level where the leading edge is above the ground. Okay, This is going to keep the club afloat so the divot doesn't become too deep. Now, it's not always one or the other. You don't always need it square and you don't always need it open. The sand is going to tell you what you actually need. Come closer, let's take a look. Can you see how the leading edge is almost in the middle of the ball? With this hard surface being able to not very easily penetrate, this club is going to hit the sand, bounce up into the ball, skull the ball over. Okay, Make the face square. Now the leading edge is going to be a little bit below the ball. It's going to be easier to hit sand, get a little bit of sand in between the club and the ball, and then hit the shot properly. Okay, Let's move back. This sand here is very, very soft. Very, very easy to penetrate. Okay, You can get down in there and create a lot of sand in between the club and the ball. Okay, he's going to want to have that face open as much as possible so that leading edge doesn't dig down in the sand and create too much sand in between the club and the ball. You'd have to swing very, very hard if the face was square and digging. Okay, Go ahead and hit, and hit that one. Cool. Divot shallow enough so that it doesn't dig. He doesn't need a lot of speed to make the shot. If that face was square, he wouldn't have been able to hit the ball. Let's hit this one. Face is going to be square. Perfect. If he had any of the club being open, the leading edge off the ground, the, the club would have bounced up into the ball immediately and sculled over.